the wolf and the man. Once on a time the fox was talking to the wolf on the strait of man. How no animal could withstand him, and how all were obliged to employ cunning in order to pursue themselves from him. Then the wolf answered, If I had but uh, the chance of saying a man for once, I would send on him not withstanding i can help three to do that said the fox come to me early tomorrow morning and i will show three one the wolf presented himself bad time and the fox took him out of the road by switch but itself went daily first came on the old dischanged soldier is that a man inquired the wolf no answered the fox that was one afterwards came a little boy who was going to school is that a man no that is going to be one and left came an hunter switch his double barreled gun on his back and a hedger by his side said the fox to the wolf look there comes a man who must attack him but i will take myself off to my hole the wolf then rushed on the man then the handsome saw him he said it is a pity that i have not loaded with a bullet i met and fired his small sword in his face the wolf pulled a very wry face but did not let him to frighten it and attacked him again on which the huntsman gave him the second barrel the wolf swallowed his pain and rushed on the huntsman, but the, uh, he drove out of his bright hand and gave him a few cuts with it right and left. So uh, that uh, blame everything, he ran howling back to the fox. Well, brother wolf said to the fox, how hast so got on this man? Ah, replied the wolf, I never imagined the strait of man to be what it is. First, he took a stick from his shoulder and blew into it, and then something flew into my face, which tickled me terribly. Then he breathed once more into the stick, and if it flew into my nose like lightning and hail when i was quite close he drew a wide rib out of his side and he beat me so with it that i was all but left blinded see what a braggart threw out said the fox so so where's the uh, uh that was hatched so far that so canst not switch in back again.